So as the Lafayette real estate market continues to make more headlines, it's really easy to feel overwhelmed with all of the noise that's out there. You may be questioning how these changes will impact you and your family. You might even be wondering if now is a good time to put your home up for sale, or perhaps you're even contemplating buying your first home. I'm Jim Cady with Cady Real Estate, and in this month's market update, we're bringing you valuable insights to help you make informed decisions but also navigate the local real estate market with confidence. And in the next few minutes, I'm going to go over the last, the, the latest market trends and uh, what they actually mean for you if you're a buyer and if you're a seller or if you're an investor. So overall, with slightly more homes in our area than last year on the market, buyers do have more choices while sellers are starting to face a little bit more competition. However, despite moving towards a more balanced market, the high demand is still outweighing the supply, which is causing our prices to remain high. This is good if you're a seller and now may be the perfect time to list your house as we approach what looks like the peak of the market. And if you're a buyer, you can expect sellers to be a little bit more reasonable than during the pandemic with just a few more choices than we had last year. Now for Lafayette Parish numbers. Lafayette Parish reported 236 homes sold last month. This is down 10.3% from the previous month and it's down 13.9% compared to October of 2022. 336 homes came onto the market in October and this is up 12.8% from the previous month and it's up 12% year over year, which is great news. 246 homes went pending in October. This is down 9.9% from the previous month and down 4.3% year over year. The average amount of time a house stayed on the market in Lafayette Parish was just 48 days. That's the same from the previous month. The average sales price year to date is $285,558. This is down just slightly 2.8% compared to the same time period of last year. And last but not least, the 30-year interest rate average for October increased to around 7.6, but it has already dropped in the first few weeks in November. At KD Real Estate, we're always up to date with the latest market trends. And as your expert advisor, I can help you make informed decisions and capitalize on opportunities in this dynamic landscape. So whether you're thinking about moving up, moving down, or you just have a real estate question, let me and my team help you put a game plan together. Don't wait until it's too late to take advantage of the current market conditions to achieve your real estate goals. As always, we would love to hear your thoughts, comments, and you know anything about the market that you have questions to. I'm Jim Katie with Katie Real Estate. Thanks for watching.